Hello and welcome to Talk Football. This is Dr. Harun Elias and today we will be looking into Al Sharani's injury that he faced during Argentina vs Saudi Arabia's game when he collided with his own team's goalkeeper Al Awais. If you are into mechanics and anatomy of sports injury consider subscribing to this channel cause I will be breaking down all the injuries that athletes suffer during the games. So Yasser Al Sharani suffered a blow to his face and his abdomen from the knees of Al Awais when he was grabbing the ball and when we look at the pictures it was not only his face that suffered the injury but it was also his abdomen that was badly hurt and after receiving such a hit from the goalkeeper's knee we saw Al Sharawi's face down lying on the ground and he was bleeding from his nose and he was unable to move for quite some while and according to reports he not only had a broken jaw he also has broken facial bone couple of teeth and most important of all and most horrific them of all is his internal bleeding Yasir Al Sharani has undergone two surgeries first one is for the pancreas that is probably for the internal bleeding and the second one was for his face that includes his jaw and and facial bones so now I'm gonna be breaking down Al Sharani's injury in detail so first I'm gonna discuss how Al Sharani has suffered so much damage from the goalkeeper's knee because he was hit by a non cushion part of the knee that is also known as patella and patella is the prominent portion that we see uh, protruding out when we flex or extend the knee and he was not only hit by the patella on the face but he also received a blow to his abdomen by Al Awais knee. So first I'm gonna discuss what injuries Al Sharani has faced in the abdomen and what procedure he has went through. And all of the Saudi and international newspapers are saying that Al Sharani has undergone a pancreatic surgery and that means in the trauma his pancreas and other related organs are pretty badly injured if he had to go for a pancreatic surgery the pancreas is a relatively uncommon organ to be injured in a blunt trauma occurring in less than two percent of the blunt trauma cases and this injury is associated with considerably high morbidity and mortality in the cases of delayed diagnosis Pancreas is a vital organ located below the stomach and pancreatic trauma occurs commonly in connection with multiple injuries of different organs of the abdomen and this injury involves contusion, laceration or compression of the pancreas and uh, not only pancreas but also other associated organs and that need to be treated uh, accordingly during the surgery. And now I will move on to the next part where he was getting hit in the face by the knee of Al Awais. And during this process, he not only broken his jaw, but he also has suffered quite a bit of damage to his facial bone. And I have heard in the reports that he has undergone a second surgery on his jaw and uh, on his zygomatic bone, which is also called the facial bone, uh, a prominent portion below the cheek. Although it is quite a serious operation performed under general anesthesia where the surgeon fixes the jaw and uh, zygomatic bone which is also called the cheekbone with wires and screws but unlike the injury of the pancreas this injury is not fatal and with the injury to pancreas and fracture of zygomatic and mandible bone I don't think we would be seeing Yasir Al Sharani in action for at least six to eight months and as I have already discussed that it is not the facial trauma the injury 
to zygomatic and mandible that is of main concern because those fractures would be healing up very good in two to three months but that would be his pancreatic injury that would be determining that how much time Yasir Al Sharwani will be staying off the field so this is it from this video if you are into sports science consider subscribing to this video and let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future